So this is the class on bioinformatics. Let's ask ourselves, what is bioinformatics? You'll realize that the answer to this question is not as simple as it seems. So let's look at the origins of bioinformatics. Now remember bioinformatics, it has something to do with computers and something to do with computers means it has something to do with information. Okay, so we have this, um, this paper in 1978 and this is disputed as you will see, much like the definitions of bioinformatics are disputed. So you have a paper and it seems, and again, I'm not going to go through these definitions because you can look at them, but I've highlighted the things that are important. So the paper is The Roots of Bioinformatics in Theoretical Bio Biology by Pauline Hogaway. So it seemed to us that one of the defining properties of life was information processing in its various forms. Information accumulation during evolution, information transmission from DNA to intra and intercellular processes, and the interpretation of such information at multiple levels. At a minimum, we felt that information processing could serve as a useful metaphor for understanding living systems. So this is where we begin to say, okay, this has something to do with information. You can draw the analogies of information processing for in all our lives processes, and maybe we can make that leap into systems which, inform which allow information processing, and maybe we can make that connection. So you begin to see where this is. Now, this is disputed, okay? The term bioinformatics is used to encompass almost all computer applications in biological sciences, but was originally coined in the mid-1980s for the analysis of biological sequence data. Very often you'll realize that bioinformatics is often synonymous with sequence analysis, even to the point that now we have next generation sequencing, where we think in terms of sequencing the whole genome. This is stuff that we're going to do two or three lectures from now. So you begin to understand this in, in, from a perspective of information processing, but it was only about sequencing. Now remember that bioinformatics first came about as a separate field of study because of the genome. The human genome was published because of the use of information technology to do the sequencing of the human genome. Without uh, information technology, the publication of the genome would not be possible. Okay, so now the question, however, is, is it the 1980s? We'll see. So again, disputed origins. Now somebody begins to think, well, really it was 1991, but the term bioinformatics, which is a relatively recent invention, appeared until 1991. Now maybe it didn't appear as the word bioinformatics, but it seems as if the concepts were beginning to be introduced in the context, in the emergence of electronic publishing, okay? So this is where electronic public publishing, information technology, certainly the internet. In the same article, we have another place, developing algorithms and making biological discoveries by sequence analysis. People had begun to think of it since the 1960s, long before anyone thought to label this activity. So people were beginning to understand that maybe information technology could be used to understand, to process biological, biological activity, to disseminate this information. But the disputed origins are not really in terms of our understanding of bioinformatics. They are more about when the term was really used. Now let's look at the definitions, right? So when in doubt, do a quick and dirty search, go to Wikipedia. So, and again, I'm not going to just repeat whatever you're seeing on the screen. What we are going to look at is, uh, is the key terms, okay? And this, uh, this tells us how the term bioinformatics has evolved. So, bioinformatics is an interdisciplinary field that develops methods and software tools for understanding biological data. As an interdisciplinary field of science, bioinformatics combines computer science, statistics, mathematics, and engineering to analyze and interpret biological data. It's a pretty good definition. Now, what you realize as we look at other definitions from even, you know, things like dictionaries versus science resources versus the NIH, what you realize is there's a struggle. Uh, you want to create a definition which is all things to all people. You know, make sure that everything associated with bioinformatics is encompassed um, is encompassed in this definition. On the other hand, there is also the struggle: can we make the definition really succinct? Do you think we could take the entire definition and put it into a single sentence? We shall see. Okay, so that is Wikipedia. Now the question arises: is this a generic or a specific? 
definition. Okay, another general definition. Bioinformatics derives knowledge from computer analysis of biological data. These can consist of the information stored in the genetic code, which is first kind of the idea of, well, there's information here. How do we extract it? How, we, how do we analyze it? How do we disseminate it? But it's also data in the form of experimental results from various sources, patient statistics. So you see people say, wait a minute, this is not about biological processes only. There is a clinical application to bioinformatics and scientific literature, and this is all relevant. Research in bioinformatics includes a method for development of storage, retrieval, this is where databases, the information technology, the development of the internet, because you'll see a lot of resources that you just put, uh, you know, that you, that they are available on the internet. You put your information and you get information out, and it's only possible because of the internet. Uh, the retrieval analysis. Bioinformatics is rapidly development, developing branch of biology and is highly interdisciplinary. Once again, like the Wikipedia, they want to make sure that it's interdisciplinary, that a bench biologist would not really just go straight into biology development. It, it, you require the confluence, you require the marriage, the bringing together of ideas from computer science, from information technology and from biology, but there's other things that are going on. Statistics, informatics, mathematics, chemistry, biochemistry, physics, and linguistics. It has many practical applications in biology and medicine. So you see clinical application. What is linguistics and why linguistics particularly, right? So the scientific study of language and its structure, including the study of morphology, syntax, phonetics, semantics, all of this is part of linguistics. Uh, we have a lecture coming. If you look at your previous uh, of your previous module, you realize that we talked about knowledge management, and some of the aspects of bioinformatics touches upon this notion of linguistics. It goes into the idea of artificial intelligence, etc. And you'll see a little more about that. There are other fields that you would you would consider bioinformatics to be part of, and that is medical imaging, medical imaging analysis, which might be considered part of bioinformatics. There is also a whole other discipline of biologically inspired computation, genetic algorithm, neural networks, artificial intelligence. All of this is part of machine learning. Okay, so they're beginning to see that, wait a minute, there's, there's more stuff. So whenever there is a biological problem, and no matter what, what that problem is, as long as it's biology, and you say, well, this is not, this is potentially solvable in the lab, but the data that's, the data that's being generated is too massive, too vast, and maybe we have to use inter information technology to process this information. That is where, then you say, this didn't seem like a bioinformatics problem, but it certainly looks like it could be classified under the umbrella, the broad umbrella of bioinformatics. So again, we are struggling between the generic and specific definitions. For Frey Tekaya of the Institute Pasteur said, let's look at a tight definition. Now you see in this tight definition, there is a struggle to say, well, it's tight, it's really concise, but is it all encompassing? Um, what if I came with another application in bioinformatics and that is not taken care of by this definition? So that's what we have to look at, right? So the mathematical, statistical, and computing methods that aim to solve biological problems using DNA and amino acid sequences and related information. So they couldn't just stop at amino, amino acid sequences, right? You have to say related because all the other things that we saw in the previous two slides related to the generic definition is now being brought into this definition. So and related, it's vague, but to make sure that everything else is taken care of. What does the NIH say about this? So bioinformatics is a field of science in which biology, computer science, and information technology merge into a single discipline. There are three important sub-disciplines within bioinformatics, the development of new algorithms and statistics with which to assess relationships among members of large data sets. Okay, not quite. This is just half the definition. Then there's a whole bunch of stuff that you put in here, which is, and you can, NIH definition of bioinformatics, and you'll realize that um, the ellipses take care of a lot of a part of the definition that uh, that I decided not to put here because once again the NIH has to be all things to all people. Okay, 
So then you look at another aspect of uh, bioinformatics, that is nucleotides, amino acid sequences, protein domains, protein structures, and also the development and implementation of tools that enable efficient access. Now, one of the key parts of, the, of this class, being able to see what kind of tools are being developed, okay? Uh, can I go online and can I access a tool where if I put a certain amount of input, there's something on the web, you know, a, a resource on the web will take care of it and spit data back out at me. So it's also the dissemination, development of tools which enable the access of this information very easily. And a large part of the class will be devoted to learning some of the online tools which will allow you to do most of the work that you want um, uh, just by yourself online, which is kind of the philosophy of this class. Okay, let's go to some other definitions. And Answers.com, once again, it's kind of like Wikipedia. It's kind of like a, like a Google search. It says that the bioinformatics or computational biology. Now, the third module that's coming up after this will begin to explore how bioinformatics and computational biology are they the same? Are they the, are they different? Are, is there any diff? Are they used interchangeably? Are they used as synonyms? Is, are there mistakes in using them as synonyms? So what do we, can we come up with specific definitions and specific ways of demarcating bioinformatics from computational biology? So, so is the use of mathematical information techniques using statistics to solve biological problems, use, usually using computer programs, mathematical models. Okay, now we have some specific sequence alignment, which is something very specific. And in the and you know when bioinformatics first began, people were really thinking in terms of sequences. In fact, the second class is related to sequences. Okay, so we talk about protein structure, system biology, protein protein interaction, and virtual evolution. The what is just something like uh, like a Wikipedia resource says is a science of developing computer databases and algorithms for the purpose of speeding up and enhancing biological research. Now I like this definition. This definition says a lot without getting trapped into specifics because when you get into too specific, somebody will come with another application or another development in bioinformatics and say, well, you know, your definition is not quite complete. So this is a pretty good one. Again, information technology meets biology or anything to do with biology, biomedical, biomedical, clinical, etc. Anything to do with the life sciences is bioinformatics in my in my view. But it's nice to see how some of these um, some how some of this um, is evolving and some of how people have different perspectives on the definition of bioinformatics. So biologists use computers or computer scientists use biology. Bioinformatics is more of a tool than a discipline. So this is an assertion more than a definition. So the application of um, computer technology to the management of biological information, specifically it is a science of developing computer databases and algorithms. So now this looks at the developmental side of it. You use databases to retrieve and you store information in databases and you extract them as and when you want it. So this just looks at the developmental side of it as opposed to the application, as opposed to the user side of it. Uh, here's from bitsjournal.com, is a combination of computer science, IT, and genetics to determine and analyze genetic information. Is that it? What about proteins? Here we have an EBI toucan resource which says, is the application of computer technology to the management and analysis of biological data. Just data? What forms of data? The result is that computers are being used to gather, store, analyze, and merge biological data. Now, if they had stopped here at data, it would be fine. But the moment they start beginning, they begin to qualify this data, that's when the definition, in my opinion, gets into trouble. Let's look at the definitions from, from the dictionaries. Collection of classification of storage, analysis of biochemical and biological information using computers, especially as applied in molecular genetics and genomics. So this is Merriam-Webster's. Let's look at the Oxford English Dictionary. So molecular bioinformatics, for some reason, there's a little bit of a qualifier there, is a conceptualizing biology in terms of molecules in the sense of physical chemistry and applying informatics techniques derived from disciplines such as applied math, computer science, and statistics to understand and organize the information associated with these molecules on a large scale. In short, bioinformatics is a management information system for molecular biology and has many practical applications. Okay, so this is the Oxford English Dictionary. Well, where did they get this definition? So they, they got this definition clearly from
from this particular resource uh, from the uh, a paper written by uh, by Mark Gierstein and colleagues. Okay, so conceptualizing biology, that's the Oxford English Dictionary. And so here's, uh, here's a, an illustration from one of the figures in this, uh, from this particular paper. What you see on, on the, along the uh, x-axis, for example, if you will, or the horizontal side is the breadth of biology. So proteins, homology, large-scale surveys, and informatics. And here you have rational drug design, which is what is called the physics of it. Okay, so think about it as you have a genome sequence, and then you can align them and find sequences like this, and then, you know, you have more sequences like this, and it goes into hundreds of sequences like this. So these are the genes. They translate into proteins, and you have similar protein, and you have the same basic process, the same process, okay? And then from the genome sequence, you've got the protein sequence, and the protein sequence is associated, uh, the uh, is sequence is then associated with the structure, which talks, begins, through which we allow, begin to understand a lot of the function, okay, and the, the myriad functions of proteins. These have to be proteins with the surface, and then you begin to apply physics. So, for example, the force fields is the, is a measure of the interactability of that surface of a protein, whether it interacts with another protein, whether it interacts with a DNA, for example, DNA repair, whether it interacts with um, with a ligand, a small molecule, right? And that's why you begin to understand what drug design is. So drug design is the design of different kinds of molecules which will interact with a protein affecting a certain function. So for example, reducing pain, you know, what does aspirin do? How does it interact in a bodily process? Okay, and then for example, because there's a force field, there's a certain interactability associated with the protein, typically on the surface, because that's where the interactions take place. And then you begin, then you say, now you have a complex. Now this could be a, this it's illustrates here, a ligand complex, but you know, it could be a protein, protein complex, a protein DNA complex, okay? So if you really look at this, it's really brings genomics and proteomics together. And this is a pretty good definition. The, you, you might say that the, the eventual drug design application is a little too narrow, but it's a pretty good illustration of bioinformatics.